let me just get something off my chest. Did I go crazy and buy more fabric than I can probably sew in this year? Yes. Did I beat myself up over doing it? For maybe a day. Am I going to do it again? Yes. Probably in February, although not quite to this extent. This was a sadness buy. I'll just go back to normal in February. I thought about whether or not I should feel bad about it, and then I decided that I just I just don't. Okay, let's get into it. Um, I don't even know where to start. So, how about this? Fabric Mart was having a big sale. Now, I usually try to buy the Julie's Picks like immediately, first thing on the first of the month. I try to be the first one in there to get the thing that I want because it's run out before and I've been sad. So, um, January 1st, so it's a holiday, so when I logged onto their website at 9 a.m. on January 1st, um, they didn't have the new picks up, so I couldn't order the thing that I wanted to, and I was about two glasses of wine in, you know, chilling in the bathtub phone at the ready, and I uh, couldn't get what I wanted, and I was feeling a little sad, so... Um, Drinking plus sad plus wine, or wait, no, wine and drinking are the same thing. Drinking, sad, bathtub, you know, one thing led to another and some stuff happened. And then I went back the next day, stop, I went back the next day and uh, to get the thing that I originally wanted and I found a few more things because then they were having a silk sale. What's, what was I supposed to do? Just ignore that? No. Okay, so. Here we go. Um, they were having a pre-cut buyout sale, or pre, yeah, pre-cut buyout sale. So I don't know why this is still in the plastic bag. I should probably. So this is pre-cut two yards, 100% rayon broken herringbone crepe. There's this was two dollars and forty cents for the pre-cut. Two dollars for two yard two dollars and forty cents for two yards couldn't resist. It's like a black and cream color. Although I would they call it black and cream, I would say this is more of like a like a tan. Black and tan broken herringbone. It's uh it's got a nice straight you know what? They're all gonna have to go on the wash anyways. Let me just unfold this. I think it'd make a nice top. Maybe a dress. I don't know. For two dollars and forty cents, I know I couldn't pass it up. That's what I do know. All right. Pre-cut two yards, muted cranberry, one hundred percent polyester. This is also two dollars and forty cents. And I just thought I like I, I like geometric patterns. I think they're pretty. So here's what we have here. It kind of looks like a, it looks like a peach skin. It doesn't quite feel like one, but it's um, got a nice drape to it. Make a nice top. I think it's pretty. Then I got uh, almost four yards of this 100% rayon. This was $4.80 for four yards. That's like a dollar a yard. It's ridiculous. I had to. Now, I don't normally wear a lot of florals, but um, maybe I start. Who knows? I don't know why I don't. I don't hate them. I don't think they're ugly or gross. Or Man, I really should have figured, I should have unfolded all this stuff before I did it. So it's a nice some ferns and stuff. I don't know what I I don't understand flowers, but whatever that thing is, I don't know, it's pretty cool to me. I kind of I like the color combo. So, I think uh I think this one's probably going to have to wait till summer. Uh but it's pretty. So there's that. Then another 4-yard pre-cut also for $4.80. This is also 100% rayon. So this isn't normally a color combo I would choose, um, but I kind of I kind of like it. I don't 
I don't think it looks terrible. It's a little bit similar to my face color, I guess. I don't know. Am I, a, am I salmon colored? I'm not sure. So, there we go. It's pretty. It doesn't seem, doesn't seem too sheer. So, I don't know what I'm going to make out of that, but I got, there's a ton of it. So, that'll be cool. And then, um, what did I get? What's next? What is this? Poly, 100% polyester, abstract dots, ottoman double knit. This was $4 a yard, and I got four yards. Um, I just kind of like the print. It's black and white. It's simple. I don't know. It's, I like black and white. I don't know what to make out of it. It's, it's totally opaque. It's got a cool texture. I guess it's the ottoman part of the knit. Can you see that? There it is. Like kind of ridgy. But, yeah. And there's absolutely a ton. It's, there's a ton. There's so much. So much. Um... White, black, 100% polyester, striped chain pattern with speckles for $4 a yard. I got three yards of this. It's sheer. I didn't really know that, but it's kind of cool, though. I can see, like, like some sort of, like, cool um, cami top under this and make it, like, a almost like a ballet sweater kind of thing. Maybe a wrap sweater would be cool. Yeah, it's it's got these little black and white flex in it. I like it. It wasn't what I was expecting, but that's okay. Uh, I wanted to, I wanted, to, I've been wanting to try a linen knit. Um, I wasn't sure what that might feel like or um, what it would be like to work with it. I'm sorry, there's a cat down there um, getting into my stuff. Um, that's what she does. So I picked up this Storm Gray 100% linen knit. It was seven fifty a yard, and I got two and a half yards. I figure I can make a top out of that. For me, a top usually takes around a solid two yards, but I screw stuff up a lot, so I like to make sure I have that extra half just to just in case uh, things go horribly, horribly wrong. So seven and a half yards. Uh, it feels weird. I'm not gonna lie. I've never like like I said, I've never worked with a linen knit before, and it feels kind of shiny. Almost, or like, I don't know how, to, I guess it feels linen-y. That's what it feels like. Anyways, I, I'm really curious to see what it feels like when it's washed. So, I'm excited for that. And then I told myself while I was in the middle of this uh, crazy shopping spree, I told myself, you know, self, you need to get some more solids because everything you own is printed or, um, you know, has a weird texture. I was like, get something plain, get something solid, get something that's going to be usable. And, um, I did. I got a 100% rayon crepe blouse weight woven. This was $4 a yard and I went ahead and got four yards of it. And it, I mean, you're not going to, you're not going to get anything from me showing it to you that close. I don't know why I did that. It doesn't make any sense. Anyways, uh, so this is, uh, exactly what it says it is. And it's nice. It's nice and Let's see. How drapey is it? I didn't even look. I didn't even look. I was just pulling things out of the box and then thinking, what? How did this happen? And then no more, no more wine and fabric browsing. So this is nice. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I'm sure there will be a moment where I was like, I need a plain black this. And then I'll have the stuff to make the this. Um, and then I got, oh, that's the mystery. Uh, I got two different mystery bundles. I got one regular one, the 10 yard mystery bundle. Got that um, because I can't, oh, I can't quit them. I can't. And then they also, so then they, they used to just have the 10 yard mystery bundle and the six yard mystery bundle. And I think they had a craft bundle. And um, now they've split it up into the original 10 yard mystery bundle they have a um 10 yard silk bundle for 30 dollars they have a 10 yard wool bundle for 30 dollars 
They have a 12 yard lining bundle for $12, which I bought. And I think they have like a, I can't remember what they're calling it, like luxury fabric one for $30 as well. So, um, and those are piquing my interest, although I don't know, for not knowing what you're going to get out of it, about about $15 is as high as I really want to go. Maybe that'll change, you know, maybe if I don't find much that I want, maybe I'll take a chance on it, but I've had some really, really good mystery bundles, but lately, the la I think the last two I got were kind of like, they're not giving me enough yardage in one, I'd rather have less pieces with more yardage than like, you know, five pieces that, that are only one and a quarter. Anyways, I gave it a try. I also tried the lining one. So I'll go with the, the regular plain, plain old mystery bundle first. Now, I don't know what any of these ones didn't have any labels on them other than like how, how long it was. But so I don't know what, what the fiber content is. I'll have to do some experimenting on that later. So this is just a plain gray knit. There's a yard, a yard and a half. It feels, I don't know why I would even guess what it feels like. It is a knit and I will find out what it is made of later. Um, I could use that, I could use that for color blocking. This, I don't know what this is. There's uh, 1.75 yards, one and three quarters. I'm sure you all could figure that out. I don't know why. Uh, anyways, so this is, I don't like how it feels. I'm just gonna throw that out there. I don't like the way this feels on my hands or on my body. It, it's it gotta be some sort of synthetic, not that I'm against that. I mean, I just bought a bunch of polyester stuff, but this is not the nice kind. It feels scratchy. I don't know, I don't even know. It feels scratchy. It's not, it looks pretty, like it's drapey and pretty. I don't know what it is. I know I don't like how it feels, so. I don't know what I'll do with that. Maybe I maybe I give that one to my mom. Well, she's not gonna like it either. I don't know. I don't know. That one I was a little disappointed about. There's two yards of whatever this is. It feels pretty slinky. It looks it looks like it's not meant to be worn. Well, I don't even know what to call this. It's it's a woven that looks like a knit. I don't know if you can see the tech, probably not. I don't know why I keep trying to show you things you can't possibly see. It's got kind of a sheen to it. I don't know, it's not, I don't like wearing like creams um, by my face, but it might be good on a for a, a blouse or something. I don't, I don't know. Uh, I'll, I'll figure it out. This is hideous, I don't know. It feels nice, it feels kind of like, um, like a lawn. Like it has that texture, like it's really finely woven and kind of crispy and cold. And uh, it says Tory Richard pattern, some some pattern number on it. There's one and three quarter yard. I am probably going to throw this in my scrap bin, um, so I can I'll, I'll use it to make um, uh, a muslin. Uh, that's usually what I do. Well, if I get stuff that I don't like, I don't get rid of it unless it's something I think my mom will actually like. Then I give it to her. But um, but stuff like this where I don't want to wear it on my body in public, um, I use that this kind of stuff um, to make uh, muslins out of. That way I, ha I have a wide selection of like types of fabric and texture that I think are hideous. And um, that way I don't feel bad about chopping them up to make a muslin. And um, I have, I can get close to whatever fabric I want to use in the end. Uh, so I never am sad about getting things I don't like. Um, it's always better to get things I think are beautiful and I want to wear. But um, there's still some value in this for me. You know what I mean? For that price, I mean, this is, this is going to be great to, to make a muslin. So uh, this is some black twill it fe it kind of feels like wool i can't verify that um i will have to test it and see but there's uh one and three quarter yards of this um plain black this this might be useful that's not much yardage like i can't make pants out of it i hate shorts i will i don't think i've worn shorts um since i was in junior high i don't like them um but maybe like a skirt like a winter skirt or something 
or I don't know. I could probably figure something out with that. It feels nice. It feels heavy in my hand. Yeah, I like that. I was happy about that. Um, sorry, I'm like cross-legged in this chair. And then I got this stuff, like a, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a sateen. Maybe not. Maybe it's like that. It's real thick. Like it's, it looks like satiny, but it's really thick. I think there's a name for it. I just don't know. It looks like the stuff that you'd make a wedding dress out of. And it's like this shimmery. Is it coming up? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's pretty accurate. True to color. It's like, uh, it's not gray though. It's got like a, a, a lavender or a lilac color to it. I mean, it's pretty enough. I don't really, I don't know. Mm. It's pretty. I don't know what to do with that. I don't, I don't think I've ever worked with anything quite like this. Um, but it's pretty, so I'm happy to have that. Then I tried the lining bundle. Now, I was much happier with the length of fabrics that I got, or the, the, the amount of yardage that I got for um, fabric. The, it's 12 yards for $12. And I got three yards of this acetate. Yeah, acetate. Uh, lining it's in like a minty sea foamy type of um, green yeah so three yards of that that I can use I don't love acetate as a lining um, I don't like that you have it's so finicky around what like if you get one water spot on it you're done and it even says that they even marked marked on there that it's dry clean which for something that feels terrible I feel like if I'm going to spend the money to dry clean something, it better be something that I'm dry cleaning that feels amazing on my body. Not this crusty, or not cr crusty, not this crunchy stuff. I mean, you can hear it, it's crunchy. So, but it will line something that I need lined. So that's fine. Um, I just wouldn't, I wouldn't use this on anything real fancy. So, but there's three yards of it. So I, all of these pieces were three yards. So I was happy about that because that I can, is usable, that's a usable amount to me. Three yards of a blush pink poly. That's nice. This one feels really good. This almost feels like that Benberg, that Rayon Benberg lining, the ambiance or whatever they have it. That's what it feels like. Yeah. I, I like, I was happy about that one. And then here's another three yards of polyester lining. And uh, pumpkin is not a color I normally wear, um, but I would put it in a lining because it is, vibrant so I, I like that now oh okay so so then there was the then there was the silk sale so I went a little bit crazy there too so we have three yards for five dollars a yard five dollars per yard three yards I don't know why I didn't say that very clearly silk charmeuse how bold is that yep don't know what I'm gonna do here but I know it's gonna be cool it feels so nice oh, who doesn't like the way silk charmeuse feels if you don't you're crazy so I, I I'm gonna fold this nicely just not right now you don't need to sit around while I fold things nicely uh, Navy in red 100% silk diamond dot something uh, the labels cut off and then it this was five dollars a yard and I got three yards of it it's so pretty and there's no way you're gonna be able to see this but there is like oops that's backwards there is a texture also like embossed on it and uh, man it feels nice yeah, there's like little squares on it. It's pretty cool. Very pretty. I, I, my intention when I bought this one, if I, if I can even claim to have any intentions, um, the intention was that that would make a really pretty lining. But I, because I didn't, for five bucks a yard, I didn't expect a lot out of it. I was pleasantly surprised when I received all of these that they were really really nice and I would actually like to wear things made out of them my intention with at least two of these was to just use them as lining for things but because I've tried the china silk for lining and it's just like it's so sheer 
that um, it's almost like pointless because you can see like seams and stuff through it. Anyways, so this is another one. Five bucks a yard. Crepe de chine. Wait, no, that's not what that is. Five bucks a yard. It doesn't say what type of fabric it is. Feels like charmeuse. And I got two yards of this one. And it's got these little squares and then there's no, oh, you can kind of see there's polka dots, like textured on there everywhere. Yeah. I don't know how they did that texture. It feels so good. God, silk, man. They're going to have a sick, I mean, okay. Wait, I'm just not going to buy it unless it's on sale. And it was so on sale. This is the most on sale I've seen it. Couldn't resist. Uh, this is the crepe de chine, silk crepe de chine, houndstooth, five bucks a yard. I got four yards. How cool is this? Very, very similar to the first one, the lime and blue, except this one is, isn't a charmeuse, it's a crepe de chine. This is, oh. I mean, this suits me, right? Yeah. I mean, I could just do it like this. Good enough. Yeah. Oh, so cool. And then the thing that I initially, the whole, this is the only reason. So I didn't even, I wasn't even all that into the Julie's picks this month. I was actually kind of like so-so about a lot of the stuff in there. The, I wanted one thing. So the, this, the, and then this happened. Look, I don't feel like, like I said, I don't have any regrets. I don't feel bad about this. I had the money to spend. I'd do what I want with it. I just don't know how this happened. Usually I have more self-restraint than this. It's it's still low, but usually there's more self-restraint. Less fabric, more self-restraint. But, yeah, maybe it's just because Tim isn't here to, like, stop it. My rant got cut off by my camera, so I got it together, and we're back, and the final piece of fabric is here. It's hot pink velvet. Uh, solid velvet knit. Six bucks a yard. I got four yards of it because it's so pretty, and it's exactly my, this is one of my favorite colors right here. Hot pink velvet. I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but I know whatever I do with it will be one of my favorite things. I have no doubt about that. So there's a gigantic wad of velvet. Okay. So that's what I got. Uh, the only other thing that I did buy that isn't here yet is some, um, well, there's actually, actually a couple of things. Um, some interfacing. I think I bought three different kinds. Um, Tim had suggested to me um, when I was complaining about my lack of interfacing, he suggested, well, why don't you just order some different stuff every time just to have it on hand? And I thought, well, that's a pretty good idea. So that's what I did. Um, I, I think I got like two yards of, maybe it was just two kinds. Yeah, so whatever I, I mean, I tried to choose things that I felt like I was most likely to use. I'm having a real struggle with this camera today just not working out for me okay where was I? I was babbling about interfacing I bought some that's really all that matters interfacing is boring no one cares about it silent workhorse all that stuff yeah and then um, so I believe I mentioned uh, some buttons I was meant to sew on a uniform top so um, I <laughs> I got it together I picked up the uniform top. I went to go look in my buttons because I know that when it fell off, I saved it. But I don't know where it went. It should be in the giant jar of buttons. The place that it's not is the giant jar of buttons. I don't know where it is. I don't know where it went. Maybe I got sick of seeing a button just sitting on top of my dryer. And I thought, oh, if I get sick of this button, I clearly put it in the button jar where it belongs. But maybe I was so lazy that I could not walk like the three feet in here to put it in the button jar. 
I don't know what happened to it. Anyways, these are special. They ha the button has to match because it's for my uniform. My um, I'm an, I'm an, I'm a reservist. It's for my fancy military uniform. Not fancy. It's for my everyday military uniform. But if I put a weird button on it, someone's going to start some nonsense over it because no one can mind their own business. So... I or I had to go to the uniform store and order the button and um, I had forgotten about it so I had all these good intentions oh here's my uniform time miss those button on right now and get it out of the way just like I told you I was going to and then I didn't because I didn't have the button and then instead of just getting the button right then and there I was like screw it I don't need to worry about this stupid button I got a whole nother top to wear <sighs> So yeah, I have to go get this button. So I, I ordered it online and I feel so much better. And it was like a dollar for four, for four of them. Right. So I blast those buttons off all the time. They come off. Like if I look at them wrong, they fall off. So, um, so, so what, what's been happening is too many of them will fall off one top and then I'll have to wear the other one for a while. And now the button is now, so now on the original one, I'm missing a button on my sleeve. So now I have to wear both of my sleeves really, really tight instead of at the normal one, because one of the buttons, it's a whole thing. And now that I have four buttons coming to me, I'll just go ahead and fix that as well, because there's no reason not to, right? What else was I going to tell you? Oh, I was going to do I ever introduce myself? Do you guys even know what my name is? Did I even tell you? I'm like, I'm winging it here, so I'm not I'm not that great at this. Um, so I was thinking, for, I'm Nikki, by the way, in case I didn't mention that. Uh, I was thinking, so I, I I find a lot of new channels by looking up the um, the seamstress tag. Now, uh, I haven't done it. Cle clearly, I haven't done it. Um, I was should I tell me should I do that now? I don't know what the etiquette is here because no one has tagged me. But on the other hand, if I wait around for the popular kids to invite me to play their game, I'm never going to play. So do I just do it? I don't know. Maybe I'll do it. What do you guys think? Can you please tell me? I'd like to know. Because if, no if no one cares, I'm okay with that too. Like if you guys are like, we don't care who you are. Okay. That's not, that's not gonna hurt my feelings. Um, yeah, you should let me know about that though. Okay, I think that's all I got today. I, I've gone on long enough about silly, you know. I gotta go. Yeah, the cat puked on my fabric pile down there. Don't worry, she, uh, only she only caught the like the corner of one thing and it's going in the wash anyways but yeah thanks jerk <laughs>